Legendary Hong Kong director and fight choreographer Yoon Wu Ping was born in Guangzhou in 1945. One of 12 children, Wu Ping studied Peking opera and kung fu from his celebrated father, Yoon Su Tien, who rocketed to fame as Jackie Chan's unorthodox tutor in both Snake in the Eagle's Shadow and Drunken Master. With the help of his father, Wu Ping came to the attention of the producers of the long-running Wong Fei Hung series starring Quan Ta King during the 1960s. After finding his feet in some of these early films, Wu Ping subsequently moved on to become a contract fighter and stunt player at the illustrious Shaw Brothers Studios and can be seen in Wang Yu's The Chinese Boxer. Yun came under the wing of visionary producer and director Ng Si Yun in the early 1970s and went on to choreograph most of his early classics including the adrenaline pumping Secret Rivals 2 and power kicking masterclass The Snuff Bottle Connection. Wu Ping then became one of Hong Kong's hottest properties when his 1978 directorial debut, Snake in the Eagle's Shadow, for Ng Si Yun's newly formed seasonal film corporation, became a runaway success at the Hong Kong box office. His golden boy status was further established when his second movie for seasonal, Drunken Master, reeled in a cool 8 million Hong Kong dollars during its first run a year later, effectively launching the career of Jackie Chan in the process. Seasonal followed up this success in late 79 with seminal masterpiece Dance of the Drunken Mantis, the electric official sequel to Drunken Master, again with Wu Ping at the helm and his brother Yun Yat Chor taking the starring role alongside kicking master Huang Jiang Li. Director Yun also used his newly formed company Peace Films to produce Chu Su Ming's innovative Buddhist Fist in 1980, which he also choreographed and co-directed. His other 1980 project, Legend of a Fighter, again produced by Seasonal Films, stars effervescent fan favorite Lyung Kar Yan and Japanese karate legend Yasuaki Kurata, combining a gripping storyline with resonant emotional undertones and breathtaking fight action. This title has long since consolidated its place as a top 10 must-have with many genre enthusiasts. For Raymond Chow's Golden Harvest, Wu Ping directed Wong Fei Hung's favorites Magnificent Butcher, starring Sammo Hung, and Dreadnought, starring Jackie Chan's younger Peking opera brother Yun Biu. Both movies showcase some of the best acrobatic fight action from the period and require repeated viewing to fully appreciate their technical merits. From 1984, Yun Wu Ping began making films with protege Donnie Yen. Wu Ping used Donnie's technically flawless martial artistry and remarkable combination kicking skills to amazing effect in films such as Drunken Tai Chi, Tiger Cage, In the Line of Duty 4, and Tiger Cage 2. Each of these projects is renowned for outstanding choreography, lucid camera work, and dynamic editing, and are regarded by many fans as the crowning gems from Donnie Yen's prolific career. The revival of traditional kung fu movies gave Wu Ping an opportunity to use his copious talents on the fight sequences of Choi Hark's groundbreaking Once Upon a Time in China movies. The first three films are easily the best in the six film series, and Wu Ping's fluid, expansive choreography on the first and second installments contributed a great deal to the phenomenal success of the series, which effectively made an overnight star out of Wushu champion Jet Li. Wu Ping later used the high-flying wire-assisted fighting style made popular by the Once Upon a Time in China films to embellish the action in fan favorites Tai Chi Master with Jet Li, Wing Chun with Bond girl Michelle Yeoh, and Iron Monkey starring Yu Rong Kuang and Donnie Yen. Set in the late Qing Dynasty, Iron Monkey depicts the life of legendary herbal doctor Dr. Yang, whose high-kicking alter ego, the titular Iron Monkey, protects the poor and needy against the barbaric excesses of the corrupt political regime. Relentlessly pursued by the government's most accomplished fighters, Yang must utilize all his skills to avoid capture and protect his people. One of the most visually spectacular films ever produced by a Hong Kong studio, Iron Monkey is credited by many fans and critics as having some of the most intricate and technically difficult fight action ever shot for screen. Stars Yu Rong Kuang and Donnie Yen light up the screen with their immaculate physical skills and are without doubt two of the most talented martial artists currently working in the business. Moving on to work as fight choreographer-director on Gordon Chan's 94 masterpiece, Fist of a Legend, again starring Jet Li, Wu Ping delivered what is possibly his finest work in recent years. Set against a backdrop of simmering Sino-Japanese tensions, this gripping adaptation of Bruce Lee's classic Fist of Fury tells the story of legendary patriot 
Chen Zhen, Jet Li, following his return to Shanghai to investigate the mysterious death of his master. When he discovers that the death was not accidental, and that the blame lies squarely at the feet of a corrupt Japanese general, played with admirable menace by bone-crunching Thai boxing expert Billy Chow, pedicab driver, the scene is set for the ultimate showdown. For this picture, fight choreographer Yun Wu Ping decided to go for a much more authentic, grounded look than in his previous outing, Tai Chi Master. Here, thankfully, he keeps the wire work to an absolute bare minimum, and Jet's amazing, fluid combination kicking and punching routines are all down to genuine skill. Every single action sequence in this movie is a masterpiece in its own right, from the bone-crunching opening sequence in the Japanese school right through to the brutal one-on-one -on -one death match between Fujita, Chao, and Chen Zhen in the closing reels. No matter how many times you watch this film, you will never grow tired of the genius on display. The fluid, high-energy fight sequences on this movie so impressed visionary directors Andy and Larry Wachowski that they vowed to sign up Wu Ping to bring to life the mind-bending martial arts action they had conceived on paper for their upcoming ultra-slick concept thriller, The Matrix. The movie went on to be one of the most successful and influential movies of 1999, and Wu Ping played no small part in its success. With two further sequels planned, let's hope that the Wachowski brothers will once again enlist the talents of one of the world's greatest martial arts filmmakers. Teaming up with acclaimed director Ang Lee for the incredible Cine Fantastique action drama Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon, Wu Ping once again showed off his talent for inspired choreography and innovative camera techniques. Starring Hong Kong martial arts queen and former Bond girl Michelle Yeoh, as well as action legend Chow Yun-Fat and talented newcomer Zhang Ziyi, Crouching Tiger is a beautifully balanced mix of poignant drama, dynamic wire-assisted fight action, and stunning cinematography by veteran cameraman Peter Pao. The climactic multi-level challenge match between Michelle Yeoh and Zhang Ziyi is one of the most intricate and explosive set pieces of Yun Wu Ping's entire career and is a testament to a fight choreographer and action director at the peak of his creative talents. Fans all over the world hope that Wu Ping's innovative genius will continue to be on display for many years to come. Legendary Hong Kong director and fight choreographer Yun Wu Ping was born in Guangzhou in 1945. 
One of 12 children, Wu Ping studied Peking opera and kung fu from his celebrated father, Yun Su Qian, who rocketed to fame as Jackie Chan's unorthodox tutor in both Snake in the Eagle's Shadow and Drunken Master. With the help of his father, Wu Ping came to the attention of the producers of the long-running Wong Fei Hung series starring Quan Ta King during the 1960s. After finding his feet in some of these early films, went on to choreograph most of his early classics, including the adrenaline-pumping Secret Rivals 2 and power-kicking masterclass The Snuff Bottle Connection. Wu Ping then became one of Hong Kong's hottest properties when his 1978 directorial day films, Wu Ping subsequently moved on to become a contract fighter and stunt player at the illustrious Shaw Brothers Studios and can be seen in Wang Yu's The Chinese Boxer. Yun came under the wing of visionary producer and director Ng Si Yun in the early 1970s and 